What's going on guys, Ozzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, 90 Vidal has just came out. And I tell you what, I did his footmas card and I think I gave that card a 7 out of 10. And this card I'm expecting to be 10 times better. 81 pace, 86 dribbling, 88 defending, 91 physical, 86 passing and 87 shooting. Now, stats on the card, 81 plus. It's okay, he's looking pretty decent to be fair to him. But I tell you what, this card is worth 450k. So he better be worth it. Now he is 5 foot 11, so he's the he's a decent height for a centre mid. But if you're going to play a 5 foot 11, you're going to, and obviously centre mids are CDM, you're going to have to link him up with someone that is 6 foot 2 plus. Now he has got high, high work rates, but that's not going to matter too much if you put stay back while attacking on him. Three star skill moves. I don't do skill moves with my midfield anyway. Four star weak foot is also very nice. I'm going to be able to cut onto that left foot and obviously pass with it. Now, he is on an anger chemistry style. He's obviously on 10 chem. 87 acceleration, 86 sprint speed with 99 aggression. This guy is going to be super fast in the midfield, moving left and right like there's no tomorrow and doing his interception work. Now, 91 attacking positioning, 82 finishing, 92 shot power. If it comes to him on the edge of the box or inside the box, I'll give it a shot. Why not? He's got 90 long shots, 85 volleys, 89, volley, uh, 89 penalties, 88 vision, 81 crossing, 73 free kick accuracy, 88 short passing, 87 long passing, and 81 curve. Now, I'm expecting this guy to do those, you know, little cheeky over the tops on one side of the pitch completely to the other. I'm also expecting him, expecting him to do the one twos, the link up play. All of that should feel good on him. Now, he's got 79 agility, 81 balance, 93 reaction, 90 ball shot, 82 dribbling, and 90 composure. The only thing I see that's not going to be great there is probably his agility. I'm expecting this guy to feel decent on the ball, feel very calm and composed. But at the same time, agile wise, I don't think he's going to feel agile. Now he's got 93 interceptions, him being 5 foot 11 with 93 reactions. He will be intercepting the ball fairly easily, but he hasn't got that big, big reach to him. So it might be, he might let that me down on a few interceptions. Now he's got 94 defensive awareness, which means at the right place, at the right time. 99 standing tackle and 99 sliding tackle. Now, standing tackle, I'm expecting this guy to be very strong going in because he's got a quite bulky body in game. And that's something I do love in this game when obviously going for standing tackles because they don't just hit the, the ball, they hit the play at the same time, guaranteeing you the ball. Now, we don't get a lot of slide tackle occasions in this FIFA, but if we do, I'll give it a go. Why not? 99 jumping, 94 heading accuracy, him being 5 foot 11. I would say he will be out heading 6 foot 2 and below. And I may be pushing, I might say 6 foot 1 and below, but uh, why not? Let's go 6 foot 2 and below. But well, this guy will be winning headers in the midfield, and that is uh, that is like very, very important. Now, he's got 91 stamina, which means up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem throughout the whole 90 minutes. 92 strength, bodying players left, right, and centre. And as I said at the start, 99 aggression will make him faster. But he will be winning more 50-50s with that aggression. Now, today I have linked him up with Messi and Zambrotto. If you guys know my original team, all I had to do was take out De Jong. De Jong over here and simply put Vidal. So, that's pretty decent, you know. Now, I've also got the likes of Lucas, Neymar and Ikone in the team. I will be using Vidal in a 4-4-2, playing him in that centre mid role. Because I feel like this guy's more of a centre mid than anything because he's got an attacking presence to him as well. But I will want to try him in that CDM role, so I will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now, the first thing we always do when testing out a player is just to see how agile they really are on the ball. It's not too bad, to be fair to him. It looks very comfortable on it as well. Look at him, he's already having that attacking presence to him. Oh, that was a good touch, but at the same time, great acceleration. Okay, back stick. Ah, I couldn't get it, but that acceleration Vidal has got to him, that is looking very, very nice. Nice, good interception. Basically, what I did there, I waited till we turned so I can kind of bait him into that passing lane, which is exactly what I did, and obviously, you know, Vidal was going to intercept the ball, I would say nine times out of ten there. That's a beautiful one too. Little drag back. Can I get a near post shot? Very, very unfortunate. But the four star weak foot coming into play there and it wasn't the greatest shot. I was expecting a bit more power and accuracy behind it and probably pelting it near post. Little turn. Can I get a through ball for Dow? Obviously I can. And that is an unbelievable ball straight towards Messi. Can we get a chance? Messi does get bodied. He does fight back. Little ball roll. Can I get a finish? 
obviously. And it all started from Vidal doing that over the top through ball. That was obviously unexpected towards my opponent. And it's an unbelievable finish by Messi. Look at that, man. With the weaker foot. And Lucas is, I wouldn't say throw on, but we had a pretty decent chance there if Lucas was a tiny, tiny bit faster. But what a ball it is from Vidal once again. Little twists and turns. Little ball there. Ball roll. I feel like I'm going to cut onto that left foot. Cut onto the... Oh, my God. All right, we do get kind of unlucky. Let's all be fair now. But the Vidal is dribbling inside the box there. Turning players left, right, and center. And just threading it to Messi was crazy good. Oh, just going to get the standing tackle there. There you go. As you clearly could see, I didn't get the standing tackle there. So... What I did was I waited for the perfect moment because I knew he wasn't going to have a shot. He could have, but I don't know. I, I've been seeing this guy, how he plays, and I just knew he wasn't going to do it. So I decided, why not? Just read the passing lane. And the interception that Vidal did was unbelievable. And that pass towards Messi, that was a very, very unexpected. I didn't actually believe that was going to work. How fast he is is ridiculous. Like you clearly can see, I was kind of aggre uh, like aggressive there, pushed him out of position, but he was so fast to track back, recover, go for another tackle, and did and obviously did end up actually getting the ball. Complete switch of play once again. This time it doesn't work, but I'll allow it because Lucas wasn't really making a run. There you go, just reading where the player is gonna go, and then simply just clicking B. Little pass in the gap. Oh, that would have been incredible. Comes you like it. Little switch. And that is one thing I am loving from Vidal. He's ca he can switch the ball with either foot. So he's not going to be one of those players that gets caught out because you have to force it onto one foot. You can simply pass it with both and switch it to any place you ever want because he is so good at passing. It is ridiculous. No way. Oh my god. Do it quick to Neymar and maybe we could actually get a go out of this. Ah, I wanted to do him dirty with the flip flap. Very unfortunate. I did obviously end up messing it up. But at the end of the day, that ball from Vidal was so, so good. A complete switch of play on the volley. Nice. Now, that was a terrible pass from me. But Vidal was super committed towards it. Using his jumping and obviously heading accuracy to get that straight to my player. Oh, just going to get the tackle there. But I tell you what, it's a very nice block and a good recovery from him. But if he was obviously, I do believe if he was six foot two or even six foot one there, he was going to get that ball with the reach. Nice. That was a really good recovery from Vidal just to kind of support Van Dyke there if obviously something happened like that. No cutback. There you go. Reading it. Fight for it. Ah, so unfortunate not to come out with the ball there. But I like how he was kind of committed and he kept going for it. Little slide tackle. Perfect. 99 slide tackle. I did tell you guys if I got the occasion to do it. Obviously, I'll give it a go. By the end of the day, that was unbelievable. Getting the ball, not even touching the player. And that's exactly what I wanted there. Nice. Once again, a really strong standing tackle. Taking the ball and taking a player while he was at it. Yeah, I read that. Easy reads. It just, you know he, what he was going to do there. He clearly wasn't going to cut back because he saw the space in the middle. So all I had to do was simply put Vidal there. And we, we, it was going to get an easy tackle. And that's a good interception from him once again. There you go. Reading the passing lane, passing lane once again. I'm telling you. This guy's the real deal. We can do so much defensive work. This is stupid. The amount of times that he's won the ball back for me is... I really don't know. It's multiple, multiple occasions. Oh, you don't get a better slide tackle. You really don't get a better tackle than that. That is pinpoint. That literally has to be perfect so he doesn't give away a free kick. But at the same time, kind of go for that. What is he doing? All right, he tried to read the he tried to read the sweat, and then I just saw Messi back stick. But yeah, that but that tackle had to be pinpoint. To not give away a free kick there is unbelievable, and to you know get round the ball and just collect it off the player. That's how good Vidal is at defending. Oh, I'm telling you, he would easily intercept intercept that if he was a tiny, tiny bit taller. 
100%. And that is some occasions that I am obviously seeing from him. But that, oh, come on. He kind of got shifted off the ball there, but I loved his commitment there just to kind of track back by himself. Use his defensive awareness, go for the tackle all by himself without me controlling him. Use a little through ball just down the line. He does that so perfect. It is stupid. The way he puts so much power and accuracy behind it so it doesn't really go out of play, but at the same time perfectly lands in front of the players is so nice. But that'll give me a passing option. Little half drag back. Little twists and turns. That is one thing I have noticed though. The Vidal's not one of those players that you twist and turn with. He's more of those players that keep it simple. Pass the way he's play, play, uh, pass the way he's facing. And just none of these, you know, little turns that you can do and mess your name off. There you go. That was beautiful. I baited him acting like I was going to go cover the guy at the top. But then instantly went straight back down because I know Vidal has that pace to kind of catch up to the player. So it's always going to be nice to bait players. So it is time to review him. And let me say this card is something else. It's currently going for 430k right now. A very expensive card, but I do believe it's worth it. And this guy is an end game card. You can even put this guy down as like a team of the season kind of card because he really looks like it. Now, the 5 foot 11, he did miss out on a few interceptions, but most interceptions he did get. So I was happy with that. All you have to put is stay back while attacking and he will stay back. The high high is just, you know, it's one of those things that if you don't put anything, then he will actually do his work rate. But at the same time, I don't want my CDM running up all the way. Now, he has got that four-star weak foot, which is always going to be nice. He was switching the ball with the left. He was switching the ball with the right. Now, pace-wise, he was unbelievably fast in the midfield, moving from left to right instantly. Now, he's finishing-wise, I had one shot of him with his weaker foot, and it wasn't great. It was on target, obviously, but it wasn't great. But at the same time, if you can, if you have the opportunity, shoot with him. Why not? But if you can avoid it, I would say avoid it. Now, passing-wise, unbelievable, as I said. Passing with the left, passing with the right, over-top through balls, little tick attack of play, give and goes. Everything was there with this guy. Now, dribbling on the ball, he's more of a person that is going to tackle than instantly pass away. He's going to also give you new passing options in going forward. But he is definitely one of, the, not, one of those players that you're not going to twist and turn with, 100%. Try to avoid that. Now, interceptions, as I said, he missed out on a tiny, like, a few, but at the end of the day, he did get most of them. Their defensive awareness was unbelievable. He was doing work by himself, making sure that he covers for players. For example, if I ran out Van Dijk, he would instantly cover for Van Dijk, and that is a sight you would love to see. Now, standing tackle, very strong standing tackle. Got the ball, I would say, nine times out of ten, because, you know, this is FIFA 20. There's going to be a few bounces. The slide tackling, though, was crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. There was one of the occasions that he kind of was tracking back or using his pace, using his aggression to catch up to the player. Then all of a sudden, I go for a slight tackle and he wraps his foot completely around the ball, then just snags it off the guy. And that's that's what you want to see in your midfield. A person that is obviously committed. Now, jumping-wise, he outheaders a lot of players. And I, I knew he was going to do it, but I didn't know he was going to do it that good. Now, stamina-wise, up and down the pitch is not a problem. The strength is unbelievable. The aggression is unbelievable. I really don't know what to say about this card. For me, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. And he is, I would say, a 10 out of 10. This card is insane. The one thing I would love to improve, though, is definitely the agility. If this guy was a bit more agile, it's, guy, it's game over. It's simple as that. If you guys did enjoy the video, though, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.